Good morning everyone. Today we are going to study CSS selectors. CSS selectors are used to select the content you want to style. Selectors are the part of the CSS rule set. There are different types of selectors in CSS. First is element selector. Second is ID selector. Third is class selector. Fourth is universal selector. And fifth is group selector. The element selector selects the HTML by name. The ID selector selects the ID attribute of the HTML element to select a specific element. Third is your class selector. This is used to select the all the elements with a specific class attribute. Universal selector is used as a wildcard character. It selects all the elements on the pages. And last is the group selector which is used to select all the elements with the same style definition. So let's begin how to apply this on the coding section. Firstly I am discussing the element selector. So let's code. I am making the use of internal CSS. So the style tag is being added in the head section. The element which I am choosing is the P element or the P tag. Style tag close. Save your file. Let's analyze the code first. In this code, as you can see, I'm using the I am using the P element to be selected. P stands for paragraph. For the paragraph I have chosen the text to be aligned to the center and color to be red. In the body part you can see there is one heading named paragraph 1 with a paragraph written inside it and the heading 2 second paragraph with a content inside it. If we run it, this file this style must be applied to both the paragraph. So let's run the code. So this is the result. You can see 
without repeating the code again and again the paragraph 1 and the paragraph 2 can be selected or applied with the various required attributes with a single code of line now let's move to the next selector that is our id select let's make changes to the code now as we are using the id a hash symbol need to be added suppose hash i am using the term para1 you can use any name the attributes are same text align equals to center and color equals to check now suppose there are two paragraphs p paragraph 1 and paragraph 2 we want to add a specific format to the first paragraph so we can make changes id equals to the same name which i have chosen inside the style tag that is para1 now i am assigning the id to my first paragraph and not to the second paragraph you can save your changes let's see the results now you can see the first paragraph is central aligned with the red color while the second paragraph is not red and not even central aligned so we can simply say the id selector selects the id attribute of an html element to select a specific element so let's move on to the third selector that is the class select Let's make changes to the code again. Now, instead of using the ID, I'm using a class. I'm using the class name Center with the same attributes: text align center and text color red. Now. in place of id you will use class now suppose the same attributes need to be applied to the h1 tag so we can add h1 class equals to center now according to the code these attribute must be applied on h1 and our p for the first paragraph so let's save our save the changes by pressing control s you can save your code again run your file now you can see the heading at the first heading paragraph 1 get aligned to the center and it is red in color the paragraph first is again red in color and center line while we are not using any class for the second paragraph or the second heading so they remain unaffected now suppose if we want to specify only one specific html element using a class attribute that that can be done by making following changes to the code suppose if we if i want to add only uh, the changes to the h tag then i can add h dot center i'm making the next changes that is suppose i'm simply writing class equals to center and p class equals to center as i am using the h attribute the center class the changes must be effect, must create an effect to only heading tags 
सीडर कोड प्रेस कंट्रोल प्लस एस अगेन रन योर फाइल सी द चेंजेस ओके समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग लेट्स चेक द कोड अगेन एस वी आर यूजिंग एच डॉट सेंटर द टैग वी आर यूजिंग दैट इज एच वन सो वी मस्ट राइट एच वन डॉट सेंटर सेव योर फाइल Again, run your code. Now you can see heading one got get affected, and the rest text remains the same. Next selector is the universal selector. For using universal selector, a wild card character star is used. So let's see what changes are to be made in the coding. Now suppose I want to make both paragraphs and headings of my all the text to be applied with these attributes. I can add simple a star character over here. according to this code the text must be aligned in center and color must be red for each element used in this document such as h1 element p element again an h1 element and a p element suppose i am making h1 to change to h2 so these changes must be applied to h2 also save your code by pressing control s Run your file. You can see that the headings also get changed and the paragraph information also get changed. Or we can say the overall look of the HTML page can be changed using the universes. The last selector is our group selector. So let's move the code again. The grouping selector is used to select. all the elements with the same style definitions or we can simply say the following changes can be made suppose i am writing h1 i am using the same attributes for p also p i am just copying the code part the third element used was h2 you can say i am using the same style definition that is text align center color equals to red for h1 p and h2 so first let's run this code save your code again Again, run your file. You can see the same effect. In this case, I'm, I have not used the group selector. To use a group selector, I can simply write all the elements in a single line: h1, comma h2, and p, and remove the repetitive text. This means these style definitions are equally applicable on H1, H2, and P. So, suppose let's make the colors to blue this time. Save your code by pressing Control S. Again, run your file. You can see the results, and these were your selectors. Thank you